in this video I'm going to show you how to use UID changeable cards with Arduino and the PN532 in my previous videos I explained how to use Arduino and the MFRC522 whereas here we're going to see how to use that in uh, P7532 if you have seen my last video which was on using ACR122U it is exactly the same in PN532 also because ACR122U internally uses a PN532 as its uh, reader writer chip so in order to achieve this you have to modify the libraries it doesn't matter which library you're using uh, I have got a very comprehensive coverage of various libraries in my uh, build your PN532 reader writer series of videos and whatever we do in this video should work for all three types of connections either it, uh, it can be SPI, I2C or URT connections I'm going to show here using the SPI connections so what you'll end up doing is first thing is to write some of the missing functions in the library so you don't have to always do this because it depends on the which library you are using for example we need to write functions for write registers and in communication through uh, commands some libraries already have the write register functions and some may be having in communication through so you have to check the library and you have to write the missing functions we are going to use exactly the same sequence of commands we used in uh, ACR122U that's the Mobius uh, uh, instructions and later in the video we're also going to understand uh, what these commands are so let me first get into the commands we are going to use we have covered this in the last videos so this is the commands we referred in the last video to just above here we have been sending all these commands in the same sequence and we have seen that these commands work in case of ACR122U and also briefly mentioned about uh, one more comments made by this user explaining what these uh, various commands are so I'm going to explain you know, that in a little bit uh, because it's very difficult to find more information about these commands So I have opened the Arduino IDE and also using the library which is uh, available in the GitHub and I've explained this library in my previous videos. I'm using the SPA connection so this bit is set to 1. What I did is you know in this library there is a there is an example to print the UID so if you look at this there is a uh, example called IS4143 UID I took this as an example and I saved this as a file called blog0 so in, in Arduino it's not called as a file it is called as a sketchbook so I've just modified I've written a function so everything is you know just uh, just you know whatever it was before what I did was wrote a function called write to block 0 inside this function I have just typed all the sequence of commands we have used in ACR122 you so first I'm going to run this and see it works then I'm going to spend some time explaining you know a little bit about these commands so you can see I've got a red the tiny or the PN532 mini board connected to a Arduino and I'm using SPI connections so I'm going to upload 
so it's already uploaded I'm just going to show here and I'm going to compile it and upload so I'm going to take a UID which we have been using in the previous videos so this is the serial monitor and I'm going to place it here and see so you can see that you know the output has started to change so I'm going to just uh, come back to that uh, soon now so this is uh, as written I'm going to uh, take it out probably now I'm going to scroll it as well so these commands start from say right from here so the write registers and after that sending the halt command again something to the write registers and finally sending this uh, all the magic and backdoor commands and this is the most important thing where the entire the block zero is written so we can see that you know the block zero has been returned because after this command we can see the UID of the card matches you know what was written in the block zero so let's go back to the editor and see what's that I have done so this is the command we saw um, in the blog and we have used this command this command has got this is this command is called the write register command so depending on the library you are using the write register may be available or you might have to write that I'm using this uh, library and which already has got the function to write the register so if you just scroll up probably the best thing is to search the write register so we need a command to write the registers so this library has a command to write write to the register so write register takes you know the address of the memory and the value of the memory so there is a command here you know to uh, to execute the pn532 command so we will not worry about how these things are um, they're done here but we need this function called a uh, write register so if you go back to this uh, library function you can see that there are only two sets of probably three sets of commands are used one is the write register if you also need a command for uh, in communication through and we need a command for idata exchange most library come with the idata exchange because this is the command used for a normal you know uh, a, a MIFA read and write commands are done using in data exchange command so you just have to look for the write register and in communication through register so here I've written the in communication through register if you go scroll down so I have written you know I've added a function and so here you know what I have did is I've enabled the debugging so you can get more information about what's happening so in this library there's a file called debug.h and probably you know this you have to enable you will find something like this so just start to remove the comment and uh, make this the debug symbol available and I've written this function called in communication through taking you know the command and length of the command so it just you know you just try to go through and see how the other commands are written and you can just you now get an idea about how to write this function so let's not worry about you know just just this command this function is used to pass or used to execute the in communication through command of uh, pn532 so this is the command so I'm going to go through this command you know in brief because you know it's, it's not easy to find information you look around look at various uh, blocks and I got some information here the first command that is sent and keep in mind all these commands are sent after the tag is activated you know the very first command is to activate the tag and this command this is in the APDU format and we're interested you know right from the default 
so d4 not d4 actually d4 is also present always starting from here so we know that you know 08 is the command for register write to register and these are the addresses this is the first two bytes are address the value the address and the value so here this uh, command the write register command I can pass uh, multiple addresses and the value whereas the function we have in the library can accept only one address and a value so I need to use or call this function twice so first for writing to address 6302 value 0 and call 60 next address is 6303 the value 0 so got some information from internet so this command 6302 is called is, is to control the transmission data rate the framing during the transmission so basically what the value 0 means disable the CRC so somehow you know all these things are happening by disabling this CRC code and setting the the baud rate to one zero. This is a standard baud rate for uh, uh, you know the classic MiFair type A attacks. And this setting you know what type of uh, framing we need is uh, one four four three A. So this is the command. So what what basically to summarize what this does is disable the CRC and set the frequency or baud rate and the card type for the transmission side and what I've done here is just I given a delay after executing this command and I got some nice message here as well so I know whether the command is uh, breaking here or is continuing and the next part you know here the 6303 means defining the transmission rate and framing for receiving so here the value 0 means disable the CRC and set in a frames and the baud rate and once this is done probably all these you know the disabling CRC is all is done because so that you can you can directly communicate with the card this command you know from this uh, uh, instructions is a halt command and 50 if you see any any classic uh, documentation the 5000 is the halt command because we have disabled the CRC here we have to manually send the CRC okay so usually uh, if you see the usually now the CRC is computed by PN532 because we have disabled this is this somebody must have you know the uh, Mobius must have uh, computed the value of this uh, CRC for these commands and this will never change or well, this is valid only for the for this this command so this is to bring the card to the halt so so far what we have got is the CRC is disabled and the card is in the halt state so after that we have got one more read command this command has got only one address and the value so the documentation says it's uh, adjusting the bit frame rate so 07 means only 7 bits of the last byte is transmitted okay so we have seen this kind of writing 7 bits in, in case MFRC 522 but you know I'm not very sure why it is done but you know it works eventually so after that the next command is is to send this uh, backdoor command 40 and probably in order to send 40 you have to set this uh, the 7 bit in the last byte in order to send this command we need the in communication through so the in communication through command means you know the pn532 sends the whatever you know you pass in the command is sent directly to the card so we are calling the in communication through by passing the 40 and after that there is one more write register and this is the write register writing it to address 6330 uh, 3D00 and the documentation says this is again something to do with the transmitted value 00 means we want to transmit back 
transmit all the 8 bits. So this is something related to transmitting only the 7 bytes here. So here looks like you know, this command um, brings this uh, PN532 back to the default state where all the 8 bits of the last byte is uh, transferred. After that we are passing one more back uh, door command called 43 and here we need to use uh, in communication through command and after that there's one more write register command so here we are writing it to one single address the value 80 so the value 80 means to enable the CRC so here so somewhere in the top we disabled the CRC looks like this command is going to bring back the normal working uh, mode of PN532 so enable CRC set it to uh, 106 uh, baud rate and set the tag type to uh, 1443A and after that we are so this is for the see uh, sorry this this command has got two addresses so one first to write it to 6302 the value 80 and second to write it to this so we know that this is for transmission side this for reception side so on the reception side also we are setting it enabling the CRC and other things and the last command this is a, a normal operation command uh, which is in PN532 uh, to write to a block so I'm using we're using writing to block 0 and this is part of the library any PN532 library will have a command to write to me for a classic I'm just building this uh, 16 bytes uh, this is taken directly from uh, my software so this also includes a CRC the CRC is here you know this is the type of the tag and once this is, uh, is successful so that's the last command you know if you if you see this message that means the write to block 0 is uh, done and you can bring all these commands into one single function and you can just call it in you know, any time you like.